You know, I started my career at the beginning of, you know, really the industry of ecological restoration. Um, spent my life working on smaller scale, more typical projects, five acres, 10 acres, maybe 30 acres, you know. The scale of this project is enormous in our industry. I mean, this is a dream job for any ecologist. Over the past few decades, the ecological industry has proven itself. We've now reached the point where we're helping to offset large infrastructure projects. These are important projects that solve big problems. Projects like very large reservoirs, high-speed rail, dam removal, coastal resiliency, and highways, transportation hubs, and ports. And because of the scale of these projects, we have the opportunity to rehabilitate our lands. At RES, we'll be sharing these projects with you in a series that we're proud of called Restoring at Scale. It's been a real evolution. You get to a point where companies like ours can do restoration at a scale like this. Um, and we bring, bring a lot of innovation and, and entrepreneurial approaches to, to that process. And if you kind of look across the country, it's opportunities like these are coming up. In the Chesapeake Bay, there's tremendous stormwater management nutrient removal program is going in the ground over the next 15 years to help clean up the bay and we already know what we've done to date has had impacts. The sturgeon are back, the seagrass beds have, uh, are recovering and that can be linked all to what's been done historically and now we're kind of taking that next measure and doing a very large scale projects in the bay. Out in the Pacific Northwest looking at uh, dam removals uh, where we are reopening rivers to salmon migration and then doing projects like River by where we're allowing a community to continue to grow to provide drinking water that they need and then offsetting that by buying agricultural land that has been used for hundreds of years and, and looking at how to restore it back to wildlife habitat, ecological habitat. The most important thing that we need to get right with these large projects is to have collaborative teams work together. Based on each project's unique challenges, RES brings together a team that represents the best industry minds and experience to achieve successful restoration outcomes. And that also means bringing together both engineering and ecological restoration sciences to help bring forth a self-sustaining nature-based system. You really have to add all uh, both uh, skill sets and knowledge from both sides of the table, science and engineering together, but at the same time using a lot of the same practices that are used in agriculture and forestry to allow us to scale up in a way that's cost effective for everybody involved and also effective. Um, you know, uh, farmers and foresters have been doing this for, you know, hundreds of years and we're just uh, taking a lot of those same tools and applying them in a, in a, in a different way to a, to a new, um, new type of project. To see it to come to fruition where we're able to do these large-scale projects and show that it's, it's, it's a viable way of restoring landscapes at a scale that makes a difference to um, downstream uh, communities. To know that we're going to manage it for 20 years, to see that it's done right, really, really exciting. Um, I, you know, it, it's, it really is a, a dream, a dream come true. And I think you will see the whole industry become even more capable of doing these types of restorations from what we learned for doing this one.